For anyone who doesn't live in Tampa, Gasparilla can be a real head scratcher. At the end of January every year, why exactly do everyday Tampa Bay residents all of a sudden turn into pirates? Hi everybody, I'm Melanie Atkinson, Realtor with Smith & Associates in beautiful Tampa Bay, Florida. And just in case any of you are wondering, it is the middle of winter and it's 72 degrees and sunny outside here in Tampa. And all of us residents are getting our beads ready for Gasparilla. So what exactly is Gasparilla? The Gasparilla Pirate Fest is inspired by the legend of Jose Gaspar, who supposedly was a Spanish naval officer turned pirate back in the late 18th century and early 19th century, who plundered the waters of the west coast of Florida. Now there's no actual evidence that this really happened, but that little detail doesn't matter. Back in 1904, the story of Jose Gaspar was unearthed and the Ye Mystic crew of Gasparilla adopted him as their patron rogue for their citywide celebration. This celebration has evolved ever since then, and now the Gasparilla Invasion and Pirate Parade is the third largest parade in the United States, attracting over 300,000 people to the city of Tampa. Even though the highlight of Gasparilla is the Invasion and Pirate Parade that takes place on the last Saturday of January, there are a ton of other events that take place over several weeks that all have this great Gasparilla theme. The first of which is the Gasparilla Children's Parade, which is a family-friendly, bead-throwing good time for all ages. The Children's Parade route runs along scenic Bayshore Boulevard and is typically the weekend before the pirate invasion. If you want the kiddos to enjoy the season of Gasparilla, this is a great time to bring them down. This is a family event and an alcohol-free event. And one week after the Children's Parade, us adults get to participate in the event that we wait all year for, the Ye Mystic Crew of Gasparilla Invasion and Parade of Pirates. Led since 1904 by this band of scurvy pirates, or civic and business leaders of the community, depending on which day of the year it is, the Ye Mystic Crew of Gasparilla fearlessly pilots their ship up Tampa Bay, firing cannons off until they reach the shores of the city of Tampa. Once there, they demand the key to the city from the mayor. And when the mayor gives up that key, they have a victory parade up Bayshore Boulevard. And the pirates take over for one not so fearful afternoon. Lots of other crews and organizations join the parade and there are beads and coins flying everywhere. The event is free, although there are opportunities to pay for reserved seating. During the Invasion and Pirate Parade, the city of Tampa does allow alcohol consumption in certain wet areas. If you're not a parade person, you should still make your way downtown and enjoy the festivities at the local bars and restaurants. It's a party everywhere you go downtown. If you are not from Tampa and you wanna come down to enjoy the pirate invasion, we welcome you and we hope you come. It's always a fun and memorable time for everybody. But Gasparilla season doesn't end with the invasion and the parade of pirates. There's actually a lot of events that take place after during our entire Gasparilla season. There is a night parade that takes place usually about two two weeks after the invasion in Ybor City. There's a music fest, usually in early March, a film festival, an art festival, and so much more. There are so many options to enjoy this city of Tampa tradition. Us residents of Tampa are proud to turn into pirates for a few days every year because most of the time we have to dress like normal people. There is tons of information about all of the events happening during Gasparilla season on the City of Tampa website and also check out the Ye Mystic Crew of Gasparilla website for some more information on the history of this wonderful event. Thank you so much for joining me on this really fun episode of Melanie Loves Tampa Bay. I hope to see you guys all out at Gasparilla sometime. If you like this video and found it helpful, please click the like button below. And if you want to find out more about home trends, life in the Tampa Bay area or real estate in general, please consider subscribing to to this channel, Melanie Loves Tampa Bay. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and check out my website, melanielovestampabay.com. Thank you again so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. With love, Melanie.